Is the Wonder Force hitter in V3 the best affordable sound saver? Well, if anything, it's among the best due to the price point and all of the features that you get for the price. So this saver costs about $100. Depends if you get it from Wonder Force or Patch Store, but it's roughly $100. And for me, getting it shipped to the US from Hong Kong, that costs $32. And I think it would be pretty comparable to many other countries. So that puts the grand total at about 130 bucks for a sound saver, and it has a lot of other stuff going for it as well. So it does have flash on clash, which is nice. So upon impact, the blade will flash white. And it, the hitter in V3 is a single LED saber, so you have to select the LED color. If you want uh, an RGB saber, then you can go for the hitter in V4, which is $159, but you get a whole bunch of different colors built into one saber hilt. So that may be nice if switching colors around is important to you. The saber has kind of these nice holes at the top for some light to shine through. That's a nice feature. And also an illuminated AV switch. And with some of the other saber companies, a feature like this is an upgrade. And this one, it's just built in standard with the hilt. The saber comes with three different sound fonts, which is nice. A lot of base model hilts, you know, from other companies will maybe come with one sound font, but this one has three. One is kind of a light side font, one's a dark side font, and one is kind of a, an off-the-wall font. <laughs> so I don't quite know how to describe the third one, but you can check out some of my other videos to listen to those fonts. What else do we have to say? So the design of the hilt overall, okay, it's, it's a nice design for dueling. So you have this nice grip section here. The look overall, it's really not much of a display piece. I wouldn't say it's like super attractive as a hilt, but it gets the job done, it's very practical, and a lot of the design elements are with dueling in mind and not necessarily for, you know, to win the beauty prize contest of the lightsaber hilts. <laughs> but that's my take on it. There's also a mute function on this hilt too, by the way, which you probably should have noticed because I have the lightsaber on, but it's not making a bunch of noise. So mute function is always nice. I know for me, I don't always like to have the sound on the saber on. So I like that. But yeah, those are most of the main features. It also comes with a lithium ion battery setup and a charging port. So you charge this with a USB charger. But you have a variety of color options for this hilt. They have several different colors you can choose in several different LED colors. And the length of the hilt is also 13.6 inches. So it's a decent dueling hilt. It's definitely a two-handed hilt rather than, you know, just a one. Now, if you're looking for the absolute cheapest sound saver out there, or one of the cheapest, then this company Wonderforce also makes a model called the Kyojin Tiny Giant, and that is a very short hilt, definitely a one-handed saber, only one sound font, a few other things are kind of cut back, you know, on that model, but the price of that Kyojin Tiny Giant is only $59, so if you thought the $99 price point on this saver was pretty good, with the Kyojin it's even cheaper. So anyway, that's just kind of a quick summary. And the standard blade, I should say as well, that comes with this is a mid-grade blade. If you do want a dueling grade blade, you need to add that onto your order. You can't substitute it or upgrade this to a dueling grade blade. Unfortunately, they just, they're not set up that way, so you'd have to add it on. But it's nice, it is a full length blade, it's 35.4 inches roughly, that's because it's converted from metric, so it's 90 centimeter blade, but pretty nice introductory saber I would say, very affordable sound saber, lots of nice features, nice design, the grip portion is very comfortable, there's really a lot going for it. That said, you know, whenever you spend a certain amount of money, like around $100, you can't expect that saber to be as good as like a top of the line hilt. So you always make sure your expectations are in line with the money that you spend. But even so, there are a lot of features 
packed into this, so I, I thought it's a pretty decent saber, but feel free to check it out. I'll link to um, some places you can get it. You can get it either from Patch Store or Wonder Force.